What's up gamers? How the heck are you? Welcome to another grounded video. In today's video, I want to talk about bows. You guys have asked in the comments repeatedly, hey, what's the best set that goes with bows? What are the best mutations to use if you want to use bows? And that's what this video is for. So if you guys are interested in that, keep watching. All right, first off, before we start though, I want to thank you guys so much for the recent subscriptions, for the recent just everything you guys on the views all that it's been absolutely incredible i've been on a vacation for a week i was in boston for a week and i had no access to make videos or anything like that so i do apologize um some stuff has been changed some stuff in my older videos may not be exactly relevant now but don't worry we'll go over all that stuff we'll talk about things like that in, in future videos so i do need to apologize for that but anyway let's get to the video all right so you're thinking about running bow for this game i can go ahead and tell you strongly that there's nothing wrong with it i ran i used bow pretty regularly for the majority of this game but it, i don't know that you can i'm not gonna say you can't <laughs> but it will be extremely difficult to do only bow just because you have no ability to dodge roll you have no ability to block they don't show a lot of love towards bows other than just range attacks but the moment the enemy gets close enough to hit you or if you can if you can find your way to get out of you know leverage the fight so that you are unable to be hit then fine i've shown plenty of videos of how to do that um but that i mean that's that's perfectly fine in, in a great aspect of the game though there are some arena fights and things like that you will not be able to do that in so that being said i don't know that you can go only bow in this game but you know Without the ability to block, it, you have to be able to stop damage from hitting you somehow. So, that being said, there are plenty of plenty of armor. Well, I say plenty. There are really only about three armors that focus on bow use. And one, not even that much. Just, I ran it for a while because of a nice little perk it gives you if you wear the full set. So, the first armor you're going to come across if you are looking to use bow is going to be the B armor. This armor is... I mean, good. It's a good, I, I believe it's tier two. Yeah. So it is tier two armor, but it is pretty early on. It's not hard to get because you can get a rotten set of it inside of the red ant hill. If you guys just put on red ant armor, or if you go down there just bravely and take on all the red ants you want, um, you can search through there and you'll find all three pieces, but they are rotten. You can't get the sleek bonus from them and you don't get the set bonus, but you do get a bow stun with each piece that you're wearing. So it's okay. I don't, I don't recommend leveling that up just because it isn't that useful because you can't take it a sleek route and you can't get the set bonus for it. But you can research it to learn how to make it pretty early on and then just go kill a couple bees. Bees aren't overly difficult just because all you have to do is shoot them in the eye. And if you can land that eye attack, it's an, pretty much an instant death for them. Bee armor is probably the first you're going to come across. It's really nice armor. It offers quite a bit of help when it comes to the full set. So if you have, your arrows have a chance, if you're wearing the full set, your arrows have a chance to do a pollen shot, which is nice. I don't think pollen's over or that great in this game. I don't see the effects. I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening that much when you're fighting bugs. I just, I just don't. So it doesn't help that much. Uh, you do get a slow shot. So you have a chance to slow the targets with each arrow shot that you shoot. And you also get the bow stuns. So you have a chance to stun each target for each piece that you're wearing. So this is for each little piece that you're wearing. These are the sleek bonus, or the sleek bonuses that you get is the slow shot. So if you want to take it, this I don't recommend leveling this or leveling this up fully, just because you don't want to waste your materials. Now I will say, if you're playing by yourself, there is actually quite a bit of rocks in this in this game for you to use. If you're playing with friends, you have to spread them out between you and your friends. But without having to craft them yourself. There's quite a bit in this game to find and use. I rarely ever use my bug parts because I play solo and I you just find a ton of ton of stones um, to, uh, to to upgrade your weapons. And I, just, I think there's a ton in this game. So you'll probably run this for a little bit if you want to keep going with bows. Then you'll switch over. You don't have to do this switch. I did just because I like the armor. I thought it looked cool. Um, we'll talk about that piece of armor over there in just a second. Uh, I thought this armor looked cool, but I will say this armor, the antlion armor is something you acquire. Uh, it's a tier three armor. It's medium. It's the only, it's only one of these bow ones that are medium. So it does offer you a little bit extra damage resistance. But what it does is if you're wearing the full set, it allows you to fire faster in combat. 
So if you're using, uh, if you'll notice when you switch over from using like insect bows to crossbows, crossbows fire at a slower rate. This kind of helps with that a lot. You'll fire a lot less or you'll fire a lot faster and you won't worry about that rate as much. But it doesn't offer anything else other than sizzle protection, uh, which is great. No, you don't have to worry about sizzle at all if you're wearing this armor for the most part. Um, and I think it, I mean, I, I used it because I was using crossbow and I love the fire rate. The faster I could get those shots out, the more damage I was doing. So I thought it was fine. But I will say that it, it doesn't really offer anything other than that. And then as you get into the upper yard and you finally discover the moths in the game, moth armor is pretty good for any ranged attack. So if you're wearing the full set of armor, you do get wind run. So any chance or any time you're firing your weapons, you have a chance to occasionally increase your movement speed while landing ranged attacks. But you also get jump start with each piece of armor you're wearing. So each attack has a chance to restore stamina, which is nice because you burn through a lot of stamina using uh, ranged attacks. And this is the this is the big one. For each piece, you get a ranged cut, which is a bleed. Uh, but bleed bleed does a good, especially at ranged. I mean, you'll be end up you'll end up losing less arrows because you do get the bleed as as the effect does take place. But um, once again, I don't think it's game breaking. It's not like it's not like poison was where they literally had to reduce it because of how game breaking it was. It just it it just does a ton of damage. So that being said, with each one of these pieces of armor that you want to wear, now don't get me wrong, there are some other armors that you can put on that may help with stamina reduction and stuff like that. And, and don't get me wrong, you can wear any piece of armor that you want to wear and fire. You can put on spider armor and with the mask of the mother demon and get the poison proc with this. That only really worked in my opinion if you're using poison arrows, which yeah, you can make a ton of poison arrows, but then you have to remake them every time you want to use this weapon. And that's just kind of annoying. Yes, the Mask of the Mother Demon does make your bow hit poison, but the, the ticks just wasn't a ton. It did help a lot, and it's not a bad set to run. It's just not, once again, it's not game-breaking. It's not like, oh my god, this is insane. You're, you're melting people down with this. Another piece of armor you can wear, which I recommend, is... Let me just put it on. Is this wonderful cap. This is a marksman hat. Uh, you get it pretty early on in the game. I would recommend leveling it up uh, at least to sleek uh, because you get a bow attack. Um, so this does increase the damage that your bow does. It'll also give you a bow energize, which uh, you have a, every time you hit a critical, you have a chance to increase your stamina. So, I mean, it's not, it is medium armor. It's not overly crazy, but it is a nice addition. I would, if you want to pair it with like the moth, armor you can do something along the lines of the the two bleed damage because i mean the set bonus was only the win run so you don't need the full set but you still get the bleed damage you still get the jump start with the instantly restoring some stamina along with the crit restoring some stamina and along with the extra bow damage so this one was probably the the most optimal set that you could have just because of how much it's giving you in terms of using your bow um, with everything else, um, bow stuns are great, but the truth is if you're using bow, you're probably staying out of danger a lot. You're sitting up on things. Um, you're not so much worried about slowing or stunning creatures just because you don't need to because they, you, you're out of the way of the damage. But this does offer probably the most damage you can get out of your bow. So leave that as it is. Now, in terms of things like mutations so a lot of mutations in this game are going to be situational uh, in my opinion it depends on what you what you're having in your hand but some of the main ones that i would recommend using are, are pretty obvious um so coupe de grass so you acquire coupe de grass by first either going to the location of the four leaf clover which is located down a hole you have to swim through a tunnel and you'll pop up underneath ground where there will be the only thing in that room is the four leaf clover and you go walk up to it and you get coupe de grass um, but you can also acquire it by going to the picnic table and going into the minotaur maze finding the 20 piece uh die rolling it until it lands on the 20 or the 20s at the top and then it will proc then now that's how you level it up as well so if you do one of the other first you need to go do the other one so if you do the die first, go go find the four leaf clover. If you find the four leaf clover first, go do the die. That's how you get it to stage two. All right. 
Now that you headed to stage two, you're getting 25% chance to crit. That's already amazing because you should be running this on pretty much any one of your sets, in my opinion. I don't think you should never not have this on because you want to be critting. Critting is amazing. Talking about critting, get peeper or trapper peeper. You acquire these by gathering uh, peeper cards. I think I need five to get this. Um, so once you have that, you just level it up. You just keep grabbing peeper cards and you can eventually get it all the way to phase three. So this, it has an undefined chance of increasing damage. It is not currently defined of how much damage it increases, but it will increase your crit damage by a certain amount. So that's, if it's increasing it by any, in my opinion, I think it's worth having on, especially if you're running bow, because each crit can offer an extra attack, which is super nice. You can put sharpshooter on, but you don't have to if you need to put something else on too. You don't need to have this because all sharpshooter does is pin down your target. It doesn't offer you any extra damage, though I think some people think it does, but it doesn't. It and unless somebody wants to try to prove me wrong, I've turned this on and off fighting multiple different enemies, took the same amount of arrows to do so. The only thing it says in the wiki is that it just pins target down. It says nothing about damage. And if you read it down at the bottom, you have a chance to pin targets down using ranged attack. That's all it says. That's nothing else. Okay, nothing else. The point is there's about there's only about three of them that I would say that you need to have on two for sure. The other ones is if you if you have if you have room, throw it on because nothing it doesn't hurt to pin down a target but you know you don't need it so if you want to run something like meat shield because you want the extra health because you can't block attacks or if you run one buff lungs or cardio fan or something like that to help with the, the stamina drain then you can run that as well or you can do something like mom jeans if you've beaten the uh, brood mother you can get mom jeans if you want to do that then You'll have tiny little spiders that'll go out and help you fight. <laughs> so, or you can do mysterious strangers if you've eaten the man, and he'll appear and fight for you as well. So, there are other things that you can add on to help uh, with a bow setup, but your main ones are going to be coop to grass as always, along with I think trapper peeper is another good one now to use, and you can throw on sharpshooter just to pin down your targets. All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, guys, there are. You can use whatever armor you want to use. Um, if it were me and the way I play now, I use armor that benefits my main, like the weapon that's that's uh, my melee weapon. And then I have my bow there for a side, uh, my side use. Be just because melee style right now is just kind of overpowered in a lot of ways. Um, there are some creatures that, yeah, it still takes a little bit of finesse and work to take out. But a lot, I mean... This, the sets that I'm running now is just in, is incredible. Like it's <laughs> the the melee and that is insane and it's it's crazy. So that being said, um, do do just if you want to run bow, just put yourself in a spot in a location that is for an archer. Your 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 archer your range man. Stay stay up, stay high, stay clean, and keep out of danger. Like it's the best way. They just don't show a lot of love. I wish there was like a dodge roll. I wish there was some sort of, you know, uh, the, the things that I mentioned in a previous video one time about stuff I wanted for grounded was like, I wanted bows to have a dodge roll or a, or allow us to block. I also wanted a sniper shot. So the further the shot, the more damage I do with it. I think that's sick. I think that would be awesome because that takes skill to hit a shot from a distance. So you're not gonna be able to do it all the time. And it also, like, and you lose an arrow most of the time because you're shooting it way far out and you're probably not going to find that arrow again for at least a while unless you just happen to go look for it, I guess. But I think it would be awesome. I think Sniper Shot would be super cool. That could be a mutation they add later. Grounded. If you add it, if you add it called Sniper Shot, bro. I want it mentioned. Actually, you don't have to mention me. It's fine. It's fine. I know you love me. I know you're watching this video. I know you care. I know you love me. All right, I love you guys too. But I think that would be a cool one. I think Sniper Shot would be a cool one. I think, like I said, I think Dodge Roll would be super cool. Those are things I wish they would add for bow because I'd probably run bow just all the time. I've killed quite a bit of creatures in this game with just bows. I don't even know if they give the number for that anywhere, but I would I would like to know if I've done more more death. I've caused more death with the bow than I have with any other thing. I don't know. I've run the, the Club of the Mother Demon quite a bit too. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Like it. Just please. 
it does help with the algorithm a ton. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for the recent subscriptions. If you guys found this interesting at all, if you found me interesting at all, just a little bit, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join the family. I'd love to have you come hang out with us, follow the videos, comment. I love talking to you guys. If you <laughs> look through the comments, I've probably responded to just everybody. I absolutely love having conversations with people. That's what I've been looking forward to the most about growing this channel is having conversations with everybody about this game and about other games. If you guys want to talk about other games, I'm down. I'm, I'm always just on my phone. To ask my wife. She hates me for it. No, she doesn't hate me for it, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and I will gladly, as always, catch you in the next one. Peace out.